Hey guys, Kyle here live from the West Lawn of the U.S. Capitol in beautiful Washington, D.C. once again. We've got a lot of awesome stuff lined up for you, including interviews, performances, and so much more. Stay tuned. It is really hot here. It's like 100 degrees, no lie. So I'm sweating. I'm, uh, I'm gross. I apologize in advance. Hope you guys love it anyway. Keep watching. If you can't, if you can't stand for, this, for those who can't, as we are real Americans. All right, so decades together. What does that mean to the two of you? Good decades. What does that mean to the two of you to be uh, have, having worked together for so long and built such a legacy? Well, our group started out as a family hobby, singing at birthday parties and Christmas parties and stuff like that, and it became a profession due to the fact my cousin Brian and I wrote some, some songs together, and this guy, George wrote uh, one of the biggest uh, hits of all time. I write the songs, but, the songs. Right. but all of our collective guys in the band, last week our new album, The Beach Boys with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, was number one on the Billboard Classical Chart and the Classical tro Crossover number four in England. And that's pretty good for guys over 20. That's amazing. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is amazing. So it's still chart-topping, what, five decades into your career. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. And then, what does that mean for you to be here today, uh, today for Capitol Fourth, Washington D.C. Fourth, July Fourth, the epicenter. This is uh, it occurred to me a long time ago to do a free concert, and we did one, a few of them on the mall back in the late '70s and the mid, up to the mid '80s, and uh, it was our way of giving back to the United States of America and all of our fans uh, all over here and all around the world. So we are thrilled to be back second year in a row with the Capitol Fourth. It's, it's an amazing thing. And our friend John Stamos is giving us, giving us an award, the National Artistic Achievement Award, which is, I mean, how does it get better than that? Absolutely. Yeah. And what legacy do you hope to leave for the world, for history? Happiness from the music. Yeah, fun, 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 you might say. Awesome. All you gotta do is stay a minute, just stay your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. So, you guys have been, you are legends over decades. The original young man band, if you will, that has set the standard for everybody else going forwards. How, how does that feel? Well, it, it feels good, you know, to have people look upon us in such uh, that kind of way, you know, because when we first started singing, we just wanted to sing, not knowing that we would set a precedent for a lot of other acts to uh, follow. So it's a great feeling. And what does this mean to you to do something as American as, American as the, the Temps, the Temptations, Motown, performing for the 4th of July at the U.S. Capitol? How, how does that feel for you guys? It's a wonderful feeling. You know, we enjoyed it and we've done it before. And today is good to come together and see all of the people having fun, enjoying themselves on a peaceful day like today. We're one people today. Yes, we are. I think this group has um, grown up with the history of America ever since it started. And uh, since the group has started, it's been in every facet of the world, through everything we've done as Americans. And this is truly an American icon group. You know, not saying that because of a minute, or not saying it because of us. Absolutely. Just, just because of the history that the group Absolutely. has had, yeah. and it's a beautiful thing. And we thank everybody and thank the fans yeah. all over the world for everything they've done for the Temptations. Thank you. Yeah, well, I've got to say, just as a testament to to the power of the Temps, my grandmother loves you, my parents love you, I love you. You know what I mean? And my kids, once I have them, will eventually be growing up listening to you guys. So, so thank you for all of uh, all that you've done. For, thank you. Service too. Right. Thank well, you yeah. so much. Happy birthday, America! <laughs> so I am here with Renee Fleming once again. We talked uh, last year, I believe. Memorial Day, exactly. Yes. yes. Great, to see you. Great to see you. Thank you. And so uh, today, you were singing an absolutely beautiful song. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? 
Well, I have two songs. So I have You'll Never Walk Alone from Carousel, mm -hmm. which I'm doing on Broadway right now, which is so amazing. Uh, and this is a different context, obviously, and one that's more about uh, um, um, emphasis on the hope as opposed to the tragedy, I think. Uh, and it's just one of those iconic pieces that people love. They don't even realize it's from a, a famous American musical. So. I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And it's a big, all over Europe, too, it's become an, an anthem for football, for okay. which is, of course, soccer. Right, so, right. Yeah. And then you and then do... America the Beautiful, of course, which is my favorite of all the patriotic songs. It is the most beautiful of them. It, it really is, and your rendition of it is a showstopper. So, I, well, oh, both of your songs are showstoppers. Thank, you. Stoppers, thank so. you so much. Thank you. Of course. You I, do get, I get fireworks, so that helps. Yeah. I think it's a little boost, you know. Yeah. It's a <laughs> well, there's nobody better that they could go along with than you. Oh, thank you. Uh, you do a lot of work with charity, uh, from Stand Up to Cancer, National Parks Foundation. What is, uh, what, from all of these, what is important to you? in this um, when you're giving for charities and stuff? What, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, you know, it, it, you try to find something that you actually genuinely care about and um, certainly Sing for Hope in New York is one of my very favorite groups. What they do in, in terms of bringing volunteer artists um, to schools and to homes and to hospitals is so extraordinary and really growing. Um, and then, of course, Polyphony in Israel, bringing together both Jewish and Arab children within Israel around music, around the subject of music, and it's growing like crazy. So, you know, we do this because obviously we want to we want to really feel good about things, and frankly, that very often starts in small doses in the bottom, and we can make a real difference if we all do something. Awesome. And finally, for uh, 4th of July, uh, what does singing America the Beautiful at the U.S. Capitol with fireworks, what does that mean to you as an American performer? Well, all the men in my family are veterans, and my father, my uncle are still with us, and they're so proud. They really are so proud to have served. It means a great deal to them. They get very emotional, and of course, I remember it, of course, as a time when the family came together and we had a wonderful time. I lived in a, in a quite, I've, my whole life has been spent in a quite innocent period, uh, and one in which we were all just so thrilled to come, be coming together on this date. Um, and every, of course, every time I sang in the UK, they weren't, in the UK, they weren't, they weren't quite as thrilled yet. Right. Uh, for, we don't celebrate Fourth of July. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got the